action. This is Dr. Ashit Singhal from ACR Convergence 2023 meeting in San Diego, United States. I'm a rheumatologist practicing in India, Chandigarh, the city beautiful. I have a very active interest in patient education, research, and treating patients with various rheumatic disorders. I'm happy to help people from 30 different countries in my practice for treating their rheumatic diseases. What we have done recently is that we all know that rheumatic diseases are the leading cause of cardiovascular, premature cardiovascular morbidity and mortality. As we get better with better drug treatment for treating our patients for their joint outcomes, we also need to be aware and focus on their comorbidities. The recent publication of surveillance trial has brought Jack inhibitor tofacitinib into focus for its increased cardiovascular risk in patients who are elderly, have cardiovascular risk factors, or an underlying cardiovascular disease. The classical cardiovascular risk factors, disease-related risk factors, and the drugs that we use to treat disorder all contribute to the increased cardiovascular risk. But perhaps one of the most important reasons for the cardiovascular risk is the underlying chronic inflammation of rheumatoid arthritis, which leads to endothelial dysfunction, accelerated atherosclerosis, and premature cardiovascular and coronary artery disease. So what we did, we decided to investigate the cardiovascular impact of tofacitinib in patients who did not have conventional cardiovascular risk or an underlying obvious cardiovascular disease. We screened 95 patients for the inclusion and exclusion criteria and randomized 81 patients who did not have any underlying cardiovascular risk factor or disease and had active rheumatoid arthritis despite being on conventional synthetic DMAR. These patients were randomized one is to one to receive conventional synthetic DMAR and tofacitinib 5 mg BD was added to their continuing regimen in one arm and placebo in the other. We estimated their measures at zero months and three months. The measures which we estimated were ESR, CRP, DAS28, and the quality of life hack DI. As far as cardiovascular risk was concerned, we used a marker of endothelial dysfunction known as flow mediated dilatation. Endothelial dysfunction is the cardiovascular barometer, meaning thereby that it is determines the cardiovascular risk. For example, a 1% reduction in flow mediated dilatation leads to 13% increase in cardiovascular risk. So after three months of therapy with tofacitinib, we found that there was a 23% increase in the flow mediated dilatation that represents an improvement in the endothelial dysfunction. Apart from very good improvements in ESR, DAS-28 quality of life measures, none of these patients had any maze or a uh, venous thromboembolism event during the study period. So we concluded that tofacitinib in patients with rheumatoid arthritis had a cardiovascular and a vasculoprotective effect through its anti-inflammatory mechanisms and probably some other mechanisms. Thank you. Say, so, I am rheumatology. I am a rheumatologist.